Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me. Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pars, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Mm, yes and no. Viknu's 
Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist. But it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suye. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Return it here, to the Tid Ahran. Then... Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuthfadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Hmm. 
I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Drem your look, greetings. Look through. Standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It's always just before dawn. The whole world Were the Greybeards any help? Did they know anything about the shout used against Alduin? An Elder Scroll? That's not going to be easy to come by. Esbern's your man for that kind of thing. He may be able to at least point you in the right direction. The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades. Someday. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a Blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Ask Esbern. If he doesn't know himself, he'll know where to find it out. Then came the flash of light, just on the horizon, fill in the clouds. Yes? What is it? Uh, do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects would last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was all and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I can. Welcome, welcome. 
welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. You have to keep your ward out, or else it won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep the ward still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. 
The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the First Era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Until next time. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer, Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. scrolls indeed the empire they absconded with them or so they think the ones they saw ah, the ones they thought they saw i know of one forgotten sequestered but i cannot go to it not poor septimus for i i have arisen beyond its grasp here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. 
Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know.